Hi, in previous video, uh, tutorial I explained how to write a custom sling model exporter which export content in uh, XML format using JXP APIs. Okay, in this tutorial I'll explain how to use that custom sling uh, exporter uh, to export content in JSON. For that, I have created a, a component which has uh, title, description and date and one uh, multi field so we'll try to export this content in xml okay for that i have written a sling model and sling model has obviously uh, the getter methods for those val uh, values okay so how do you uh, add exporter in model the simple you are aware that just add a exporter annotation right and two mandatory parameters in this uh, annotations name and extension now you need to understand what is the name name is what you gave to that sling model exporter right we gave a name uh, in uh, there was a method get name whatever the name we gave there that name has to be used now because uh, your model uh, sling model exporter is available using that name so name was geeks xml and what is the extension in which format you want to export that content right i was not using any options so i'll not give options but if you want to give you can give options here, here right as i explained in previous tutorials so now you are done this is the only thing required to make your sling model as exporter so let me open that uh, sling custom sling model exporter as well so that you can better understand Okay, if you see left side, I have my sling model and right side, I have a sling custom sling model exporter. So as I explained you earlier, whatever the name you gave in method, uh, get, uh, get name method, whatever the name you gave, that name should be used in name inside the exporter annotation. Right? By this name, uh, your custom sling model um, exporter will be identified in sling model okay so that is the only thing required to make this model as an exp uh, exporter but uh, you have to write annotations because uh, jxb required annotation irrespective like if you see in jackson annotations jackson exporter jackson exporter export all the getter method by default but jxb does not do that for jxb required specific annotations if you want to export something okay so let me add some annotations Okay, let me close this first okay to export first you need to understand one point here you can add a xml if xml annotation is the annotation used to export right let me keep it like this. xml element this is the annotation required xml and element is annotation required to export your method content in XML format but this annotation can be used over method as well as the variable right this is my title you can use here here as well as for the variable right if you add both places then the same content will be exported twice so take a thumb rule as checks and exporter we use on methods so always try to use on methods or is up to you it means as per the your use case Okay, so let me add uh, others as well. X, X element. Okay, let me build that now. Okay, so build is done. So let me uh, call that exporter. You know how to do that. You have to uh, go till node, component node, and I'm I'm not giving any uh, selector. So by default model will be there okay just uh, run it if you see no root element found that means if when we were using jackson exporter root element you, you know there was a default root element but here you have to add root element as i said uh, it does not provide anything by itself for everything you have to add annotations if you're using jxp so at class level you have to add a annotation uh, this XML root element annotation and just build it okay build is done let me uh, reload this now 
uh, the content is exported okay this is my uh, xml exporter i mpl okay let me open this and the books 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 okay so what content is exported the name of your class root element is name of your class and rest of as as i already uh, explained uh, the getter method name remove getter and then first character make it small but if you see here this name does not look good right every, every you know implementation of service need a clean name so for that we have a you know uh, uh, in annotations you can define name like we define in Jackson so so this also JXP also provide that functionality so what you can do add name name and it's a uh, so geeks exporter same way you can define names for these as well so whatever you give like title uh, description so let me write something name Type or author type. Let, let's me give you author. So I have added the name uh, for each root node and these others element as well. I added a name. So now this element will be available in ex uh, exported content XML format with this name. Uh, let let me build it and show you. Okay, build is done. Let me refresh this. Ah, so okay, now the root element has been changed to Geeks Export. I mean, whatever we give, that name is available. Okay, so one more point here. Uh, if you check in this model, everything is coming from uh, dialog. If you want to export something which is not coming from dialog, and you can create here itself. So it's the same way, right? Create just create a method and return whatever you want to return. Okay. So let me add that just to show you and name is Okay build is done let refresh this Okay, so this uh, author name is also available even that was not coming from dialog uh, But if you see here, this was my uh, multi field, right? But each item of multi field is, you know, parallel to the other fields, right? It does not look good. How the third party will identify, okay, these are the groups or these are, you know, items of a particular group, right? There should be some parent element for this, right? It, it does not look good, right? If you start iterating it, first it will be author name, then book, 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 and then, you know, another thing. So, uh, how exactly this uh, the, you know these books should be iterated you know under one particular if you know uh, element so how do you do that so there is a annotation available to wrap your elements multi-field elements in some particular outer elements so there is a annotation available uh, xml uh, if i'm right xml element and there should be wrapper. Okay, this is the element. And again, you give the name. So what I give name books. So now what happened? There will be a outer tag books, and inside that there there will be the tags for books, right? So let me deploy this and check for what happens. Okay, build is done. Let me refresh that. Uh, so if you see now this let me show you now this this books are under a particular tag right books so now uh, any iterating service can get okay this is the books and under these are the books so this is you know properly formatted so if you want to update this selector as i already explained in my previous tutorials if you want to update this selector you can simply go you can add inside that uh, uh, exporter you can use selector selector and you can give your name like geeks right so now uh, you can use geeks instead of model 
right but now you have to if you define selector here now you have to use this selector whatever you define so let's check this okay so because i define my own so when i refresh it it should give me error okay so now you can use your gigs whatever i define here so that way, there, there are other annotation as well. I'll give you the link of the checks B uh, documentation. You can use that, but most probably you will be using that. In most of the cases, you need only uh, JSON annotation, JSON exporter. But uh, for your understanding, this is the way you can write custom slick model exporter and you can use that. Okay, so if you have any question, please do comment. If you think you got some knowledge, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much.